Hey guys, Flay here with Two Guys Gaming. Just bringing you a quick uh, gameplay <clears throat> video um, about the new 2.4 patch for Diablo 3 um, and specifically the changes to Demon Hunter. Um, I played uh, I played Barbarian all last season and so kind of been neglecting my Demon Hunter. But stick around and we'll show you what, what's going on. Alright guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, really quickly, just, uh, gearing for this build is super easy. Um, the reason, and, and, you know, today's the first day after the patch. I haven't played my Demon Hunter in months because I was playing Barb all, all last season. Uh, so his gear was kind of lacking. As you guys can see, I've got, um, you know, I don't have ancient, uh, rucksack. I don't got ancient bracers. I'm wearing a crappy amulet. The rest of my stuff is, is ancient, um, but I'm even, you know, <laughs> in in the hood around here where gear is hard to find sometimes, you know, I'm even wearing a focus that's got strength on it, which I borrowed from my barb just so I could get it for the for the um, for the bonus. And even with this gear, um, and, and I'm using a manticore that I crafted a few minutes ago, um, just 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 try it a level 60 greater rift. Blew through it in six minutes. Not, I blew through it in nine minutes, uh, eight minutes and a few seconds. I had, I had six minutes and a few seconds left of the, of, of the rift. So for non-optimized gear, this build with the Marauder set must be really good. Anyway, I'm going to go over gear with you guys. Um, first thing you're going to need is the Mana Core. Uh, the reason for that, you're, this is a cluster arrow build, a Maelstrom build, cold build. Um, the new Mana Core reduces the hatred cost of cluster arrow by. 40 to 50 percent. Um, this one rolled crappy, 42 percent, but it's ancient, so I'm using it. It also rolls with an increase to cluster arrow damage for between, um, as you guys can see, there's 60 to 80 percent, and it rolled with 77 percent. Uh, I rolled the 10 percent damage on it. Now I crafted this mana core. If you guys don't know how to do it, you do it with your cube. You just go to your blacksmith, create a bunch of two-handed bows or crossbows just create a bunch of crossbows and then come over here to the cube and the recipe you're going to use is reforge um sorry uh upgrade rare item so you just put a yellow item in here a yellow crossbow and then these materials and hit transmute and it's going to give you a legendary bow what you're going to get from this are mostly pus spitters uh hell racks and mana cores um, and I think I had to make about 35 total crossbows before I got an ancient manticore that the result may vary for you you might get it your first try who knows so get yourself a mana core uh, uh, crafted even I you know even even a non ancient one will work for this because the stats roll the same other than the dexterity and whatnot but all right so next thing you're gonna need is your six piece a Marauder set. Um, mine is ancient, but you don't have to have ancient. This it works really good. It's you'll love it. What you're going to want to roll though is cluster arrow damage 15% on your boots, uh, your pants. I rolled decks on those because I'm just trying to max out decks. Uh, for your chest, you're going to roll. You're, you need to roll 15 sentry damage. I mine didn't roll with any vitality, and I didn't like that when they dropped, so I left. But they did roll with 11% sentry, so I'm kind of winging that. I left 11% sentry damage on it and just rolled some vitality on it. Um, for my gloves, these are damn near purple. Well, they are perfect. Uh, ancient gloves rolled with 50 crit and 9.5 crit hit chance. I upgraded that to 10, so now these are perfect gloves. Um, for your shoulders, <clears throat> you're going to want to roll those with 15% sentry damage as well. Um, <clears throat> and for your helm, cluster error damage, 15%. Um, specific gear that you'll need is a restraint and a focus and that's for your 50% damage increase as you can see this one's got strength on it it was from my barb I'm not gonna re-roll this I didn't re-roll the strength of the decks because crit was already rolled on it re-rolled um, so I've just got to wait for a better one to drop for me um, but that that 50% damage increase for is a hundred percent as long as you're timing it right because you fire a couple resource spenders then resource generators, resource, resource spenders, and etc. And you keep both buffs up, so you got a 100% damage increase. Um, I'm, I'm dropping the Rift Guardian with this build and this gear, I don't know, 
less than 10 seconds at, at, at greater of 60. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is Hellfire Amulet. For Demon Hunters, Hellfire Amulet's really the best in slot. Um, most of the passives are good, so even if you don't get a good one, um, the passive's wor worth it. I ended up with Ballistic's passive on this one. It's not ancient, but but that's a good passive for, uh, for the Marauder build because you're going to be firing rockets out of your turrets. Um, the next thing... The next two things you're going to need are, are super important for this build, but you can gamble for them. And and in the patch 2.4, they're actually pretty common drops, but I, I gambled for both mine on Kadala. You're going to need the Wraps of Clarity. And as you can see, mine are not ancient. Um, they rolled with 6 per hit crit hit chance, so I just rolled 20% cold damage on them because I'm a cold build. Um, and then you're also going to... And what those do is your Hatred Generators reduce your damage taken for anywhere between... Um, 30 and 35 percent for five seconds so every time you're firing a resource spender you're you've got 32 percent damage reduction couple that with zoe's secret which is the new hunter belt which for for this belt it's between eight and nine percent um, this one has 8.4 percent damage reduction for every companion you have out since demon hunters with marauders gear we carry all seven pets that's that's huge. That's what 50, 54, 56 percent damage reduction. About. Couple that with the bracers, which is another 32 percent. That's 86 percent damage reduction. I can pretty much tank mobs as a demon hunter at greater rift 60, which is amazing. You know, we're no longer glass cannons, and um, you know, I'll just you can see with no buffs or anything on, I've got 49 million health. Uh, if I fire a resource spin, uh, generator, that goes up to 72 million. And if I pop cooldowns and stuff, it, it gets even higher than that. So um, let's take a look at skills now. Uh, for your skills, you're going to want custom engineering. That with your with your bombardier's rucksack, uh, which we'll take a look at. You guys need a bombardier's rucksack for this build because you want to have five sentries up um, because. The Marauder set, uh, if you'll notice, uh, gives you 600% increased damage for every active sentry. So to get that 3,500% increased damage from this suit, you need five sentries up. And to do that, you have to run on Bombardier's Rucksack, because that'll give you two. And then run Custom Engineering, and it increases the maximum number you can have from three to six. Now, we'll only ever get five out, and that's, that's fine. Um, or, excuse me. Uh, it gives you three. Uh, custom engineering changes it to three, but then your rucksack gives you an additional two, so that's five total. Sorry, my math's off. It's early. Um, so that gives you five out. That's 35 versus 3,500 percent damage increase uh, to your hunter. We're also running Call the Week. Um, since we run a cold build with uh, frost turrets, uh, this is a an automatic 20 percent damage increase across the board. Uh, numbing traps, even though we don't run traps in our build, um, enemies that are slowed, chilled, uh, had their damage, uh, had their damage reduced. Ugh. Enemies you slow, chill, or hit with Phantom Knives, Caltrips, Grenades, or Sentry Life Fire have their damage reduced by 25% for 5 seconds. So that's another 25% damage reduction that I get. So they hit for 25% less hard on me with this numbing traps up they're, and, and they're always slowed um, especially with the gems that we run and I'll get to that in a second the next thing I'm running is steady aim uh, that's another 20% damage increase across the board as long as I stay 10 yards or more away from targets which is super easy with this build because everything's slowed um, evasive fire with focus uh, basically to regenerate um, the reason we run focus is because it increases the hatred generated so it keeps our hatred maxed out, so we can just constantly fire uh, grenades, uh, maelstroms. Uh, cluster arrow, of course, with maelstrom. Uh, vault with tumble. Um, bat companion, it doesn't matter what companion you run, because with Marauder set, you every time you hit call pet, it gives you the bonus of every pet that you have out, which is all of them. So if you run the Marauder set, it doesn't matter which pet room you select here. Um, and then, of course, Vengeance with the Seed um, rune for increased hatred generation. What we're looking for is to have 100% uptime on Vengeance and just be able to basically machine gun out um, Maelstroms. Um, 
So that's that. And then Sentry with Polar Station. And the reason we're running Polar Station, if we go back to our gear and look at our gems, we're running Ice Blink. Um, cold skills now apply chill effects, and your chill effects slow enemies by, well, I'm at rank 50, so 25%. And they also have a 10% increased chance to be critically hit. We're also running Bane of the Traps, increases damage against enemies under the effects of control impairing effects like chill by 32.10%. That, that one's at rank 57. And it also slows all enemies within 15 yards by 30%. So if there are mobs that are not under a polar station and slowed, or not being slowed by my by my maelstroms, um, if they get within 15 yards of me since I'm wearing the gem, they get slowed by 30% and it's easy to kite stuff. Uh, and then last but not, not least, this is Zai's Stone of Vengeance, of course. That's um, a 33.75% damage increase um, at, if, if I stay 50, 50 yards away from stuff. Uh, and a 20% 20, 20 chance on hit to stun the enemy for one second. So everything's based around um, being able to kite uh, high health, high damage mobs in higher, greater rift levels. Um, so that's that. That's uh, that's basically what we got. Of course, I'm at Paragon 732, so talking to you about Paragon at this point is kind of moot because everything that you need to have full on me is full. But um, anyway, uh, you guys have to try out the Maelstrom build. Um, I've got a uh, screenshot here of the level 60. I just ran, just tried it out, um, and finished it in, in less than eight minutes. Um, Greater Rift 60. So definitely try this build out. It's definitely worth it. Hope you guys enjoy the video and. Uh, We'll see you again soon. All right, hey guys, as promised, here's an actual run through of uh, Greater Rift 60 with this Demon Hunter we just built today. Um, so take a look at it. It's done in uh, about six and a half minutes total. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. When you're done watching, please like and subscribe. All right, guys, we're going to do a real quick uh, run through Greater Rift level 60 to show you guys how the build works. Uh, let's get to it. I wish you luck. These enemies defy I all that. reason! Need more hatred to do that. Yay, conduit. Stuff like pretty much just it evaporates, cool. and it's super tanky even at 30. I mean, at uh, greater at level 60. I mean, I've stood in that fire for quite a while, which normally as a demon hunter you can get to play. The trick is just make sure you've always got the five centuries up, so you're constantly at 3,500% damage increase. That's just the biggest trick. Like right there, I just took an explosion at greater of 60 from a bloater. Normally that would one shot you, and uh, it only did like a quarter of my health. What I need is some denser mob, or higher mob density here, because. No, I will not do that. Right there, just tank the lightning bolt at greater than 60, and that, that would not be kill you. This is just a super tanky build. I, I, I like really enjoy it. I'm gonna do a probably a, a Griff level 70 here in a, in a minute, and I'll make another I video for you that. guys of that. Uh oh, challenge file on we're going with that. Unlimited, unlimited maelstrom is just going to start blasting. Kill everything you see.
would have that. run when they had Need more time. Right there. Feel my wrath. Up at six years, and they really have how OP this, this here and build is. So I did that one in seven minutes, five seconds. That's a new personal best. I may be able to help you. Oh, let me upgrade. Bug. Yay. Hello. Why can't I upgrade an ice plank? Level 50 max. Oh, ice plank is level 50 maximum. Okay. I never noticed that. It's the first time I've ever used the ice blink, so... In, in on a 
character was this guy. I need to. All right, go so back. guys, that's it. Uh, Greater Rift 60. Um, that was super easy. I, I got no doubts I can pull a 70 out of this character with just the stuff that I've done. Um, so yeah, give it a try. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. Appreciate you watching.